what's up YouTube how's everybody doing today I'm doing well thank you for asking well if you've seen my last video that I uploaded you know I've had a pretty rough week this week uh, with my niece passing <clears throat> however I'm strong and she would want me to be that way and I've pulled through we're all good uh, so last night I went and I followed through with my plans and I watched uh, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker this is a very quick very non intricate uh, review it's just kind of a it's more of a just my thoughts on it uh, going into this movie a lot of the fan base had uh, a lot of doubts and there's been countless videos on YouTube of so-and-so hates it and these people walked out and this is what's wrong and this is what's right and wrong wrong right wrong horrible 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 all you see is something bad when truth be told 99.99999% of people didn't even see it at the time because it wasn't released at the time and only a certain amount of people got to even see the movie before the general public and those people aren't allowed to speak about it so nothing that you've seen up until this point was probably even legit so don't listen to the crazy fan base uh, they basically just want Star Wars to fail that's their home mission in life and they're getting views from it they're getting ad revenue all that good stuff by people clicking on their videos so quit falling for stuff like that and wait until the movie comes out and make your own judgment <clears throat> so my quick opinion is we all know that uh, The Last Jedi had a few issues my main issues with that are spoiler alert if you haven't seen it here we go the way that they handled Princess Leia namely Mary Poppins Leia um, I didn't like the way that they handled Luke uh, missed opportunity big time and the fact that we didn't get to see uh, Han Solo Luke Skywalker Princess Leia Chewie uh, R2D2 C3PO all them we didn't get to see all them together and make kind of their appearance and 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 uh, a reunion of sorts we didn't get to really see that at all and uh, that's the main problem that I have with uh, the first two movies in this trilogy is that we didn't get to see that um, everyone knows that Disney you know kind of dropped the bomb on a, a lot of a lot of things Star Wars and a lot of the people aren't happy my personal opinion is the movies are okay now nothing to me is going to beat the original trilogy uh, trilogy and a lot of that is because of quality from writing to acting and all that good stuff to uh, nostalgia they're, you know they're part of my childhood okay so having said all that with uh, the Last Jedi, we know what the main people, what a lot of people were crying about. In my opinion, The Rise of Skywalker has done the best that it could do without just going completely stupid, overboard, jumping the shark, and trying to right every single wrong that everyone was complaining about, just point blank. They had to go around some things and do some things different, you know, to, to kind of get us uh, more satisfied, I believe. I totally, really left surprised because uh, although I didn't watch any of these ignorant videos that's on YouTube, trashing Star Wars and, oh my God, you won't believe it, all that stuff, I didn't watch any of that. I still had 
some concerns and doubts and uh, just wasn't sure. But I'm telling you, this is the best of the new trilogy. And it's probably, it's up there with uh, some of the best Star Wars movies. I think they did a really good job. And you can sit here and poke holes and, and, and you know, find loopholes and, and mistakes and stuff all you want. Uh, you can do that with every movie ever made. Every movie. They've made mistakes and they've went around some questions or didn't answer some questions or did this and that to some degree and, and screwed up in some shape or form. Every movie ever made. And this movie is no different. People are going to pick it apart uh, piece by piece and trash it. But I'm telling you as uh, a, a fan, I'm not a crazed, hating, ignorant fan. I'm telling you as a fan from the originals, uh, even the prequels, and up, and up to these, that you're going to enjoy it. And I think there's some fan service in there. And I think it's done, uh, in my opinion... Uh, on a, a scale that it needs to be done it's not over the top and uh, also kind of a spoiler not really but uh, you're going to see similarities between um, Return of the Jedi and uh, The Rise of Skywalker uh, I mean if you know the stories and you know how they go you know I mean there has to be kind of this uh path that a story has to take and so the this movie takes that path and there's a lot of similarities but it's not so much that you're going you know oh my god it's just uh, that movie over again no it's good you're gonna get a good movie a good time and you're actually gonna be really surprised I believe so this is just my informal kind of review my kind of look at it my breakdown a little bit there. Um, just first overall impressions, if you will. Uh, go watch it. Use your own judgment. And I think you're going to like it. So, guys, I'm glad to wrap up a 40-ish 40 year, 40 year story with uh, the Skywalker story. I think you're going to be quite pleased. And, uh, yeah, so go watch it. Guys, thanks for watching my videos. I do all this for free, for the love of it. Guys, get up, get out, get red, do it to it. Even when you've had a really bad week, followed up by a really good movie. We'll see you guys later.